Welcome to the Center for Family Support Meeting Champions presentation. The goals for today's presentation are to establish what it means to be a meeting champion, answer the key question of, have you had the opportunity to lead the direction of meetings that have occurred with you and those who support you? Lastly, to work on the next steps to help you become more confident in advocating for yourself. What does it mean to be a meeting champion? A meeting champion is someone who actively participates in their meetings and does not take the back seat to deciding what goes on in their lives. They set their own goals for what they would like to accomplish. They let their feelings, thoughts, and ideas be known to those who support them so that they can help them reach their goals. They let others know what is working in their life and what is not working in their life so that they can get the support to make a real change. They aren't afraid to speak up for themselves or ask a trusted person to support them in voicing their concerns. Meeting champions practice self-determination. You are in control of your life and your voice is important. You have the power to express what you like and do not like, what activities you would like to participate in or prefer not to participate in, who you speak with and who is in your circle of support, what programs you attend, decide what goals you are working on, and much, much more. How do you practice self-determination? You do this by being a leader or active participant in meetings that are set up with your providers. A provider can be the Center for Family Support, your care management team, your community or rehabilitation team, your vocational team, or your doctor. A meeting champion decides what is discussed during the meeting and agrees or disagrees with the next steps to be taken. When we practice self-determination, we are more likely to feel as though we have control over our lives. Our voice is being heard and decisions are being made with us, not for us. When we have control over our lives, our happiness increases and we feel more satisfied with decisions that are being made. You should be doing most of the talking during your meetings and most of the decision making. Meeting champions have psychics too. Although you lead your meetings in direction of your life, most people have a circle of support who can be called to assist them, make important decisions about their life, or to bounce ideas off. Nobody lives their life alone. Most people have someone that they go to for support or guidance, no matter how old or independent they may seem. The best part is you can choose who is in your circle of support and those who tr you trust the most. For example, you may want to choose to have a preferred staff member in your circle of support, your care manager, therapist or behavior specialist, residence manager, a guardian or advocate or a friend of the family. The major goal is to be the leader of your meeting. To be a leader, you should know what type of meeting you are having, how it serves you, and prepare ahead of time for the meeting. The most common meetings you will have will be life plan meetings, typically occurring every year, every six months, team meetings or circle support meetings that are held as needed or as new concerns come up. If you live in a residential setting, house meetings with your residence manager, your housemates or your roommates. Lastly, meetings with the nurse or medical professionals. Life plan meetings are meetings where you and your team review your background information, goals, safety plans, services you receive or may benefit from receiving, and your progress. Prior to a life plan meeting, there can be a pre-planning meeting set up with you and your CFS team to hash out what is working or not working, how it can be addressed moving forward, and any questions you'll have for your care manager. I suggest that maybe you bring a letter of things you would like to discuss during your life plan meeting. It can be things you noted down that you do not want to forget to discuss, issues you are having, or anything else that may come to mind. What does it look like to be a leader of a life plan meeting? You decide who attends your life plan meeting. You set the goals that you like to work on in the residence or out in the community. You decide what services you need. For example, would you like to sign up for a JHAB worker or a pre-vocational program? You decide the date and time of your meeting. You express what is working, not working, and any concerns you may have. You make sure that what is written down about you reflects the person that you are today. You have the final say. 
Team meetings and circle of support meetings are less formal than your life plan meeting. You can call a team meeting to address any issue or concern you may be having. Some examples are to discuss an issue with a roommate or housemate, issue with a day habilitation, community habilitation, or residential staff. You would like to talk about services that you would like to apply for, or maybe you would like to express a grievance or something you are unhappy with that is currently happening. You can invite anyone from your circle of support to the meeting to help you resolve the concern or work towards something new. Now it's time to put the steps into action. Grab a piece of paper and write out all the people in your team who are special to you and opinions you value. These are the people who you may consider being in your circle of support and inviting to your next life plan or team meeting. If you have a team meeting coming up or a life plan meeting coming up, seek out a copy of the last meeting, review alone or with someone from your circle of support. Check to see that what is there is updated and reflects the person that you are today. If it is not, jot it down. Bring up that information at the next life plan meeting so that you and your team can brainstorm the next steps. Sitting with your team, thinking about the future and the possibilities are the way to make the next step and make the next change in your life.